Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, install and uh, or install the latest version of MariaDB server on a Debian um, installation. This would also work on Ubuntu as well. And uh, what I've got here uh, is a um, a server. Um, hosted by DigitalOcean and we've got Debian 12 literally brand new uh, brand new installed and I've just literally just uh, updated and uh, upgraded uh, to save time now if we look at what package um, is delivered by default uh, we can see uh, here that we get uh, uh, 10.11 and so on. But the latest package from Debian uh, that's actually stable is 11.1. Now the question is, is how can you actually install um, that one version rather than installing this 10.11? Uh, um, in this video, I'm gonna go through all of the, the official steps from uh, MariaDB Foundation. Um, now you can, f you can go to the website, I'm gonna show you in a second by yourself, um, but I just thought I'd show you anyway. Okay, so the website, that I'm uh, talking about is this one, uh, MariaDB uh, download da -da 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 here. And uh, I've already selected the, the thing I want is a Debian 12 bookworm. And I want to have uh, the 11.1. I don't want an RC, the release candidate. I just want 11.1. And uh, we're going to download from the Frankfurt Mirror. And as you can see here, it says then that we need app transport HTTPS curl. So let's just check to see whether or not uh, they're installed. And uh, they are already installed. And now the next thing is we want to make this keyrings directory. Let's just see whether this uh, keyrings directory is there first. Okay, and as you can see, there's nothing inside the keyrings directory, so we don't actually have to make this. The next thing that we want to do is we want to just pull this one, um, this key uh, that they're requesting us to do. So that's now done, and that was then saved to, uh, if we run this again, we've now got this MariaDB keyring PGP, which is super. Okay, so now the next command is once the key is imported, copy and paste the following into a file in the sources list. Uh, which is then here. So let's go. Uh, let's go into uh, that folder and uh, and have a look. And as you can see, there's no. Uh, they said uh, yeah, sources list, and there should be then a a MariaDB sources uh, file here. So let's go ahead and open uh, that up. And we want to paste all of this junk inside there. So let's just copy this and paste that all in and save this. Now it says you can now install MariaDB 11.1 from the MariaDB repository with um, app get update and then install MariaDB server. So let's run app update first of all to make sure everything's okay. And it all seems to be fine. And now let's do app list uh, MariaDB server once again and we can now see that we get an 11.1 as the standard one and if we run it with a as as well we now get the um the stable uh 10.11 but we know but we know this one is stable because it even says it uh on on their releases that it's stable and i could go back i can show you here that it says it's uh stable here all right as of uh, the 21st of august of this year um so we're all, we're all happy there um Okay, so that's that's that bit now done. Let's just go back again. Yeah, if you need the packages for um, for source packages, then you can do this. But which we don't we don't need. We just need it for the sake of um, using. Okay, now we have uh, now we can uh, actually run and install install uh, MariaDB server, and that won't take very long. I prefer always using the most up-to-date uh, version of software, um, uh, definitely the stable version as well. And I wouldn't go anywhere near any release candidate or alpha or beta versions, uh, especially for uh, production servers. Now, I'm, I'm a firm believer of not updating um, at all unless a, a, a super updated release has come out. And uh, just for the sake of, just for the sake of clarity here, I will show you uh, my MacBook as well. 
And uh, yeah, we can see that the, the Mac OS here, 14, is I, I'm not upgrading this until at least 14.1 comes out because there, there's, too many, there's too many bugs and flaws that can happen. And I don't want that. I'd rather actually sit and wait until the next version uh, comes out. Uh, with that said, we now know that it's installed. So let's just um, check to see whether it was actually uh, running. And we do, uh, it is running, which is super cool. So we can now uh, just say MariaDB and we get access to this. And we already see that we've got a uh, server version here, but let's just run select version just for the sake of it. And we get the same, same information here. Um, so this is basically it. This is all I wanted to show you is how to upgrade or it's how to install the latest version of MariaDB uh, on Debian. And like I said in the beginning, this will also work on Ubuntu as well because Ubuntu is based upon Debian. So anyway, with that said, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if I've got any more uh, videos, uh, then I will make them. If you've got anything you would like for me to make a video about, then please just let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, and, and, I'll, and I'll see what I can do about it. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you uh, next time. There may be a video on the screen right now uh, that I think or YouTube thinks you might want to watch. Okay, bye then, ciao.